Hey there, welcome back to Flying Wheels and my Flying Wheels YouTube channel today is all about low credit and subprime buying. If you've been watching my videos, you know a few weeks ago I made a video about a bunch of Jeep Wranglers where I had some really low credit buyers backing out of deals and really taking advantage of me. Well, today's video is opposite. I'm gonna show you how, if you have low credit, you're getting taken advantage of. Not by me, not by dealers, but by the banks. You're essentially being punished for your low credit. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you, if you're a car dealer, how we work with subprime financing. If you are a person with subprime credit, low credit, I'm gonna show you how you can improve your credit. Once again, my name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get going. So I own a car dealership. And with cars, you get all kinds of buyers. You get great credit buyers, you get cash buyers, and you get really low credit buyers. Now, if you're a low credit buyer, there are lots of reasons. Sometimes you have medical bills. Sometimes you have insane college loans. Sometimes you're just fiscally irresponsible and you can't take charge of your own bills. You can't get a hold of things. Whatever the case may be, I'm gonna show you how it works if you're buying a car with subprime credit. I'm also gonna teach you how you can sell cars if you wanna work with subprime buyers. So let's talk about credit scores. A prime credit score is around 700 or higher. Once we get into the low sixes and below that, you're now below prime, which is sub prime or low credit. Now you have low credit for one reason or another. Like I said, it could have been high student loan costs that went unpaid, bankruptcy, foreclosure, medical debt. It could just be that you're not paying your bills on time. All of these things affect your credit. And when you make your payments on time, your credit increases, it boosts, and your score raises as well, which helps you get a loan. Now, sometimes people get into hard situations that they just can't handle, and things get way out of whack, and you just can't get back to basics. You can't straighten out, and it puts you in a really tight position. And the problem is, sometimes it's just a snowball effect. Once one thing happens, it turns to two, to four, to eight, to 16, and one day you just wake up, and you're in a really, really bad spot. Now what happens when you can't purchase a car with cash? If you don't have all the money to just go buy a car with cash, you need to finance a car. Well, if you have great credit, no problem. You can walk into a car dealership, you can walk into a bank, if you have a job, you get a loan, everything is gold. Not everybody's that lucky. So what do you do when banks won't lend to you? Well, you might have seen car dealerships with signs that say guaranteed credit approval or 100% approval, loans for anyone, walk in with a pay stub, you're approved. Things like that are typically subprime finance dealers or buy here, pay here dealers. Now, I'm gonna talk about both of those and how you can buy from both of those or how you can sell if you are one of those. Now, if you are low credit, expect to get taken advantage of. It's not my fault. Along the line, something happened to you that you're gonna get taken advantage of now and it's based on risk. So you're essentially being punished based on your history. So when we're talking about risk, we're calculating the level of default. How likely are you to default on this loan? How likely are you to run away with the car, to not make your first payment? All these things are factors that need to be considered and they're based off your credit score. Now, number one, when you need a car loan, you need a job. If you don't have a job, you're not gonna be able to pay the loan, you're not gonna be able to get financed. So if you don't have a job, don't even consider it. Unemployment checks, don't work. <laughs> unemployed. At least if you're making cash deposits on a regular basis into a bank account, you can verify that by showing us a bank statement. So when I use subprime financing, I can show my lender that this person, yes, has a cash job. Maybe it's under the table. I'm not judging. But I can at least show that you're making deposits into your bank account regularly, consistently, that you do have an income. Sometimes we can even verify your employment by calling your boss or getting some type of job letter. Everyone's situation is different, and we can try to work with all those situations. Now think about it. As a car dealer, we want to make a sale. As a bank, they want to make a sale. And if we're not selling, you're not driving. So everybody needs to win. So to get you driving, we need to figure out how we can make this work and so does the bank. So we're willing to kind of flex in a lot of ways. Now, the more we have to flex, the more risk is assessed. And with more risk comes kind of more punishment, which means more fees associated. Now, when I say more fees associated, believe me, I don't want to take advantage of you. I just want to sell a car and I want you to be happy. And after the, and after the transaction's complete, I'm happy because I got paid. Everyone wins. Now, the bank assesses fees based on your credit score. So essentially, you're being punished for your low credit. Now, what does that mean? Now, when I finance a customer with bad credit, the bank charges me something called a discount. Let's get it straight. It's a fee. They charge me a fee as a dealer based on your credit score. So essentially, I'm being punished 
for your bad credit. And the discount can be in the thousands. It really, really gets high. So I am paying fees based on your low credit, which really doesn't seem fair, right? But the bank can't allow me to charge you for your low credit. Now as a financing dealer, I have a banker's license. I have a license to finance customers. So I have to follow FTC guidelines, Federal Trade Commission guidelines, which means there's compliance. So I can't just go and change my prices for you because you have bad credit that's against the law. But what we can do is have a window sticker price. And I don't have to steer from that window sticker price at all. I have a cash price maybe. If you come in with cash, I'd be willing to reduce the price a little bit. If you have great credit and you make it easy for me, I'd be willing to reduce the price a little bit. If you come in with subprime credit, it is a lot of work. And I'm gonna show you how much work is actually involved shortly. But because it's so much work, I'm not moving from this price. So I get my window sticker price for subprime buyers. Now I'm going to show you some tricks to boost your credit score and help you in the future shortly. But let's talk about buy here, pay here. Buy here, pay here dealers don't really give you a bank loan at all. They're actually self-financing you. So they're giving you a loan out of their own pocket and you make weekly payments directly to them. Now buy here, pay here dealers are typically for the lowest of the low. These are for the people that really have no other options. So buy here, pay here dealers are actually helping the subprime buyers a lot because they have no other resources. They have no other choice. Now we talked about it earlier when you don't have the cash to just go and buy a car. When you don't have the credit to go and buy a car, you're stuck. What do you do? You can't get a loan. You can't get a car. You can't get to work. You can't get to work. You can't get paid. You can't pay for your car. It's a chicken and the egg situation. So quick ways to build your credit, get a car loan. If you can qualify for a car loan and you make your payments on time, great. That helps build your credit. Get a credit card. You can buy a credit card with a very, very low limit or a prepaid credit card where you say you put $500 into the credit card and then you use the credit card until it's empty and then you recharge it. But if you have really, really bad credit and you can't get a loan and you can't get a credit card and you wanna find ways to help build your credit, there are products out there. There's a company that I work with called SeedFi that offers plans that can help you rebuild your credit. The way it works is they issue you a $500 loan. It costs you a dollar a month. It sits in an account, and from there you make monthly payments. You can set up a schedule of $10, $20, or even $40 to be paid to SeedFi when you get your paycheck. Now you can't touch the money, that's the trick. The $500 sits in an account, every payment is applied towards the loan. And even better, if you wanna make sure that you don't miss any payments, you can even opt into their auto pay. The auto pay is an awesome option because you don't even have to think about it and it also creates good budgeting habits. The other benefits, they report those payments to the credit bureaus monthly, and the customer can build a history of on-time payments. But wait, there's more, it gets better. So once the loan's paid off, the money's yours. The 500 bucks, you own it. Now, not only have you helped rebuild your own credit by making on-time payments, you've actually learned positive budgeting habits and you now have a savings as well. And it's only a dollar a month. The best part, if you refer a friend, it's free. Now you're helping a buddy and yourself. The requirements are super simple. You only have to be 18. So there's a link below to SeedFi in the description. Make sure you go check them out. It's worth clicking on. Definitely click on the link in the description down below for SeedFi. Highly recommend. So as a dealer, there are a lot of hoops I have to jump through to help get subprime financing. So if you have bad credit, if you have a bankruptcy or a foreclosure in the past year, forget it. You're not getting a loan. No bank is going to look at you and consider financing you if you already have a default in the past 12 months. Usually in the past three years, it makes it unrealistic. Now, if you have one that's in the history, let's start rebuilding your credit and maybe we can move forward with it. There are exceptions, but if it just happened, if you just had a repossession, why would a bank give you a car loan? You just couldn't pay for your previous car. And that happens to me all the time. I've had people come in and tell me, yeah, my car got repossessed yesterday. I need a new car. Why would anybody finance you? You just got repossessed last night. Why would a bank give you money or me? Why would I give you my money if you couldn't pay your last car payment? So you do have to think realistically. The other thing is don't try to hide it from us. As soon as we pull your credit report, we're going to find out. So all you're doing is wasting your time and a lot of my time. I can't tell you how many credit applications I've done where I've pre-qualified these people over the phone, I've had conversations and I've asked all the questions and they just straight out lied to me. And then as soon as I pull the credit report, 
I find out the truth. We're going to find out. So save yourself time and save us time. We're going to find out what is on your history report. So tell us the truth right up front. That way we can help work with you. If I know what I need to do to make it work, it makes it that much easier for the both of us. If you lie to me, number one, I don't want to give you the loan. Number two, I have to start all over again and try to figure out how I can get this loan going on a completely different basis now. Now I'm going to give you an example of how it costs you more money and how it costs me more money and how much more work it is to finance a subprime buyer. Now here's a perfect example of my dealer management software. So I am selling a 2007 Jeep Wrangler for $15,000. Now I haven't steered at all from that price. I am getting every dollar I'm asking for this vehicle and I'm going to show you why in a minute. Now here are our title application fees and then you can see the down payment of $3,000 and they have a trade-in of $1,000. So they have $4,000 they're putting towards the loan. Now you'll see there's a total lender fee of $12,000. $29.99. That is what they call a discount. That is a fee assessed to me that I cannot pass on to the buyer of $1,299.99 based on risk, based on the buyer's credit score. So I am essentially being punished $1,230 because the buyer has low credit. Now that is why I'm not going to change this price at all. I'm going to get all my money on this. Now if you had a cash, if you were a cash buyer, I could actually wiggle $1,300, so I could sell this car for $13,700, which would save you $1,300. But because I'm assessed this fee, I can't move on my price, so I need that $1,500. Now, you'll see here a net check of $9,797. So if we add $9,797, plus he's giving us $3,000 in trade, plus 1000 I am getting $13,797. Now I am getting total. I'm getting a total amount of $13,797 for that vehicle. So as a seller, I lose $1,300. As a buyer, you lose $1,300 because if you were a cash buyer, I would have maybe taken $1,300 off. But even though I don't move for my price, it still costs me $1,300 to sell you that car, which you don't see. Now you have the total alone of $15,000. So you're being punished on the front end because you have a $15,000 loan. I'm being punished on the back end because I only got $13,700 for that vehicle. So it stinks for the both of us. The only one that's gonna win is the bank as long as you keep making payments. Now here's the thing, if you don't make your first month's payment, you automatically go into default, which means your vehicle goes up for repossession your first month. That's why it's so important to make your payments. Now if you go into repossession, I have to go repossess your car and you lose that $3,000 that you put down. The other thing I wanted to show you is the interest rate. Your interest rate is 21.99%. Now as a good credit buyer, I can walk into a bank and get a loan at like 2.49%. But because you're subprime, you're a high risk buyer, means somebody needs to get rewarded for that high risk. I don't, the bank does. And they do that by charging you 21.99% interest on their money. Now I know what everybody says, oh, Craig, dealers are out to get us. Dealers are all liars. No, that's not true. I wanna give you a perfect example of how much work it really is. See how thin this is? This is a cash sale. That's how much paperwork I need. Watch this. See how thick this is? It's about 24 pages worth of paperwork, documents that I needed to get, acquire from you, and have signed and submitted to the bank. You know how long it took me to do this deal? A week and a half. And then it takes another five days to get funded. So it's about two weeks for a deal like this for me to actually get paid on it and look at how much work it is. So we work significantly harder to sell you a car for $1,300 less than if a cash buyer came in and said, hey, I have $15,000 cash, will you take it? Sure, sign here and here, deal done, over with. So it's a lot more work for us. Owning a car dealership is a lot of work. I get lied to all the time, but my job is to sell cars and make people happy, put them in reliable vehicles and work with everybody. I can't just take the pick of the litter. I can't cherry pick things. If you have low credit, I wanna get you in a car too. So we have to think creatively on how to make this work for you so we can both win. Now we wanna make it happen. We just have to do it the right way. And for now, I hope that was helpful. I hope it gives you a kind of a point of view of what it's like to be a car dealer and what it's like to have subprime credit and how you can get through it. For now, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below. Have a great day. Adios.